Hello and uh, welcome back. This is channel UTM, channel under the mask. Uh, it's a tutorial based research channel. Um, if you haven't seen any of the videos before, then um, I highly recommend it um, to give you an idea of uh, uh, how this all works, how you can do this yourself and um yeah okay so this is part two part of an experiment really um so in the first part um we were looking at uh dione which is uh this image um and this is the source uh, i haven't looked at this image in any detail uh, it's very small uh, i'm not sure if i'll get anything out of it or not um but you can have a go. So in the first vid, we looked at uh, this image, which ended up uh, being this image. Here we go. You can see I've still got all the files open um, and had an interesting look at that. So what we're going to do is have a look at um, this image now and I haven't got the original image uh, to show you it's from an old file um, and I haven't uh, downloaded the, the raw image um, to show but it's, uh, it's very interesting uh, if you look at part one um, I explain how um, and why the images look like they do after I've done the research and stuff so basically we can just have a look at this um, this is the mission logo. I like this one. So, um, okay. Um, do pause and read this. There is uh, information regarding what you're looking at. It's very vague, but um, it talks a little bit about the uh, the surface. Um, and ooh, the distance it was taken at is 68,000 miles so um, like I said before very impressive um, imaging equipment they use so okay let's get straight into it sorry I have to remember remember to do everything right okay so it looks very different and like I was saying um, I'll say again, my aim is to pull as much um, detail out of the images as possible. So um, it looks like it flattens uh, the image out. Um, but we do reveal a lot of um, detailing. Okay, so. And my apologies to people who are following this, and I will be repeating myself, but un until we have um, a decent sub base, um, then um, it needs explaining. Okay, so just quickly remind you of what we're looking at, so you can get an idea of this. So has all the features very washed out very bleached and blurred and stuff so okay let's get back into it this was originally done in um photoshop um this is still very low um let's just have a quick look i might have to bump this up for you um but the imaging quality in no disrespect GIMP um, in Photoshop seems to work a lot better. It's what I found anyway. So if you've looked at part one, then um, this all be familiar 
So I'm going to do a bit of the research, um, like I explained, it helps you um, get more in tune with the image and see what I'm repeating um, and hopefully it will make more sense for you. Um, and so, but the, it's very difficult, these images are so busy, there's so much going on um, that it does take time <clears throat> so. and we do view this stuff at um, different zoom percentages down here you can see we're at 33 percent at the moment um, just to note that <clears throat> if you are if you are doing this um, when you blow the image up if it starts pixelating the images vary so you have to have to play and see what works um, with every individual image <coughs> but um, normally you're okay if, if it starts pixelating at anything from three to five hundred percent then it, you should be okay to work on it so we can more or less just have a have a bit of a gander at this. And um, we're talking about those connecting tubes and stuff. And uh, we will have a closer look. This is an area, a new area I started working on. Um, it's a shame I haven't got the, the original image because this just looks flat as a pancake. So we'll have a look around. Now if, the, if this works out quite well, I can do it. what I'll do. <coughs> excuse me. Is um, I can do these in in parts because I like to show um, different photographs from the same place, just to just to show that it's not a coincidence um, or something weirds happening to one image and. So, um, this stuff is on every image. So let me try this. Yes. So you can see these connecting tubes or bridges, platforms, um, however you like to uh, decipher them. Um, and then you can see the inklings of new ones. Now these, if we look at that, if we just pan out a bit, they look like they maybe could be heading to some sort of, uh, you know, like an epicenter of something or another. But this area will need working on. It looks like there's something there. We can go and have a look at that. And you tend to find on these images as well that the edges are not, there isn't quite as much clarity as other areas on the image. But like I say, every image uh, varies. So um, you have to take that into account. But it's a good thing really as well. Um, so, you know, you can eliminate the the, the fact that if every image is different and the makeup of the image, when I say makeup, the um, the the filters, the 
the way the image is made up, if it's made up in strips or blocks or or the the, the, picks, the pixel count is very low. Um, we know if that is the case, then what your the the image shouldn't shouldn't be in in essence giving you the same <clears throat> um, disclosure, shall we say, as as the next image? If that makes any sense, I think I'm confusing myself now, which I do quite a lot. So we were looking at. For example, this is like following an image where you can't really sort of see anything. So these lines that were following in look like they were coming to here. Now, now I've noticed this line here. So if we're getting closer, so we can see that line running through here. It may be a connecting tube or a platform of sorts, but it might not be as well. So all you can do is have a quick look with the uh, So this is very random, this uh, this bit, it's purely just to pull out any features which uh, look, shall we say, shall look unfamiliar. If you look at part one, then I explain it all, all a lot more. Um, but we're looking for things that don't look uh, natural of sorts or follow the rest of the image it depends where you start you know we know there's stuff in this image I said the other day, if you can hear that clicking, that's the graphics pen. Every time that clicks, I've released it. Um, I do explain what that means. It's laying down, not laying down, but pulling up another, here you go, 76.4% of exposure in the highlights dodge setting. So it gradually Pulls the highlights through. So if we pan out, and I would say, yes, there's definitely something going on here. And also the, the pen actually does sound like it's slowly starting to fall apart. There are things which uh, are familiar, which seem to be on every single moon and planet, which are these type of sort of things. They tend to be triangular, diamond shaped or square with uh, domes and towers on top. Um, 
as to what they are, I, I don't know, but they're very, very common. So we can see this building up. This one I was, let's have a look at, it looks pretty interesting. So heavily built. This, of course, here. They were talking about the the, the icy walls of um, such and such on the other one. So as I've said before, I could pretty much bet on bet on that this is completely covered with um, structures. Some very strange looking ones. Gonna be here. This is how, how I, I would work on an image. I'd, I'd move to different spots, just completely randomly. See what I can pull out of there. And then it's just a case of uh, slowly working through the whole image. And you'll find that the whole thing will uh, generally will just join up.
sure which level you can uh, view this better on but we'll have a, a closer look in a minute because like I say this is so busy So it's, it's like me going, I'm just trying to, if I was trying to explain to someone what they are looking at. it's like this area here you can see that there's this is wrapping over this area leading down so this is coming down so you have to work out you're looking at different levels of um, structures this way it can get confusing because what I'm doing I'm pulling the detail as much of the details out as I can which does make it look quite it levels it out of sorts but we want to see as much uh, as you possibly can in the image surely so that's why I'm continually trying to explain As for scaling, I haven't got anything on this one yet. It might be, yeah, it might be on the next one. So we can get a vague idea of um, what's going on. I was talking about supporting Um, support basically this is so busy we can't um, I wouldn't lightly so we can follow this see this area opens up and then looks as though it swoops down and this also swoops down So to, as to how much that lies underneath this, which we, which we can't actually see, is uh, well, 
Well, you just have to imagine that. See how that's like sticking up. The light on top and then darker sides. Is that supporting that? There you go, I've got a watch set up and I can't remember what time I started.
you looked at part one, <clears throat> we were talking about, um, you know, things that are, would be familiar to you. This has some familiarity, just with the layout of it. Squares, rectangles. But it's what lies in between this stuff as well, which is uh, crazy. So like I said in um, part one, uh, if you are attempting to um, start this for yourself, I recommend these images. They're very low quality, so you can have fun with the, uh, the en enlargements. Um, And there's so much in them. And this will bear no... Uh, when you do it yourself, it, it's, it's, it's completely different. If you can handle it as well. A little bit of a warning that it's uh, can be quite shocking as well. Okay, so there we have it. Um, part two, I hope it worked. I'm not cutting this off. Um, oh no, I've just seen something. Uh, cutting this off too, too quick. Well, it won't be now. Just want to have a look at this. One of those things, the more... Uh, The more you do this, the more you can, uh, your x-ray vision will develop. There's a channel um, that got me started on this and uh, he used to do stuff and I just could not see what he was looking at. Couldn't, couldn't see it. But he was right. So that's what I just saw from a distance. So it's becoming part of this complex area here. So it's all this as well. Craziness. So. I hope you enjoyed part two and it's working and that didn't take too long. I think it's probably about the same same time as uh, part one. So thank you very much for your time and um, 
I will see you soon. And this part three, I think. So I've got to show you this because it's where we can. It's got a bit of scaling on it as well. So uh, that'd be cool. Okay, goodbye for now.